Hi guys, this is Jiggy and today we're going to be reviewing this Peak Design Travel Tripod. And to be honest, I'm really hoping that I'm not going to like it because now is not the time to buy something new for me. But we'll see. Let's see if the hype is real. It is finally here in the Philippines available for pre-order this week. So this has been my go-to travel tripod since for 10 years now. It's the Gitso 1541T. It's actually discontinued with my RRS BH40 ball head. Now, I've had no problems with this whatsoever. My only complaint was the height. It's not really too tall, but it is a solid tripod, very, very light, well-made, one of the best tripods that I've owned. That's why I've had it for 10 years. And it's been with me all over the world. So what makes this one so different? Well, for starters, it just feels more solid in terms of, in terms of how you're holding on to it. It's very, it does look like a water bottle. I have a demo here. This is, my, this is my water canteen that I bring around, my Hydro Flask. And it is just about the same size as the cap of the Hydro Flask. Now, it, you could already see there is a very big difference when it comes to size. This one already has an integrated ball head, very innovative actually, if I might say, as compared to this one. Though this one is tried and tested and I've brought it to so many places. And for me, again, still one of the best tripods there is. So you ha actually have a lot of competition. Um, this, one's, this one, it's very, very difficult for me to let go of this one. So one of the things that they told me about this tripod is that it is fantastic when it comes to quick deployment. So let's give it a shot. I've been so, I'm so used to this one, so I deploy it this way, this way. It doesn't really take too long for me to deploy this. There, there. Okay, up and running. All right, let's test this one now. Man. This is so much easier. It's like they thought about it really well. Look at that. Now, if you can see, this one has a smaller form factor than this, but look at it. Look at the height difference when fully extended. That is my only complaint actually with this tripod. I find it a bit too low. That's why whenever I'm shooting, I usually have it fully extended like this, the center column. Then I'll have my, back here, uh, my bag here for extra support. Now with this one, if I extend the center column, there's a, about a six inch difference, give or take, maybe, or about four inches, because my ball head is a bit high. Let's put it side by side. About a four inch difference. Though, this one just feels heftier all of a sudden when fully deployed. Very, very interesting. Next. Let's compare the ball heads. Of course, obviously I've got the RRS with an Arca Swiss plate because most of my cameras have Arca Swiss. This Peak Design ball head now, it's radically different from the way it's designed. Look at it, though it does come with a Peak Design plate, which is an Arca Swiss mount. So this one will actually work here. So my, my existing mount will work on this one. What is the biggest difference? Look at that. Well, obviously this is round and this is rectangular, but notice how many knobs and levers you have in my RRS as compared to just this twist for the peak design, see, and the ball head just moves. And then once you've got it, you lock it in place. Now, honestly, I don't know if this is something that I will be happy with. I would want to put a camera here, but I'm using both cameras now. To shoot it's got a dual locking mechanism so it snaps on this is your initial lock right here then you have this one to lock and lock it in place it's actually interesting though this one is just one lever so this is one one easy way of doing it as compared to this one where you you have to it's a two-step process the okay. ball head is actually something I'm not really too sold on when it comes to this tripod, I think. 
though it does feel as if it was properly thought of. Let's say, for example, you just twist this knob here, which activates the movement of your ball head, get your camera into position, hold on to it, then lock it into place, which makes a lot of sense, though when you're doing vertical, let's say, for example, I want to shoot vertical, it's going to be very difficult for me to get to my camera and lock it into place. So that's something that you know, maybe the version two they could do something about. Though I, I get where they're coming from, this, this ball head, when you're holding onto your camera this way and you just move it, once you've found that, that proper position, you could just lock it so it works well with horizontal. If you're shooting horizontally, maybe if you're gonna shoot vertically, it would be best if you have an L bracket mounted to your camera so you could make full use of this, of this uh, in a very innovative ball head. Unlike my old RRS, I could just do that, see? I could put it here, then lock it. Plus, if I want to pan, can have this perfectly level already, then I just turn a knob here and I can just pan my head. So, um, I think there is still a bit of work left for this, for this ball head, but I do understand why they designed it this way, because it does mount flush to to your tripod, so imagine that. That's your entire ball head as compared to having this one big ball head. Plus, I think it comes with an adapter, so if you don't like this ball head, you could just remove it and put in another, the ball, like this RRS, though it would destroy the ergonomics of the entire, or the design of the entire tripod, which to be honest, I am beginning to love. The more I make this video now, the more I'm beginning to love it because this one now feels like a dinosaur compared to the design of this one. This one just feels so futuristic. As much as I wanted to hate this tripod, to be honest, I think I will put this aside now. I always bring a camera and a tripod whenever I am traveling, but there are certain times of the trip that I don't bring my mirrorless camera with me, my Sony. They came up with such a nice solution and it's hidden right in the center column. It's basically, a cell phone mount. Pretty cool, right? So all you have to do is, again, loosen this part here. It just mounts directly to the ball head. Don't you think that's pretty amazing? That's pretty amazing, actually. It's, you know, it's those little things that I don't think I will be using that often, but it's a good, it's a good um, option to have there. And note that it's, it's magnetically held into place, so it won't fall. And this one just goes like that. It's so, even the locking mechanism of this one's so innovative. It's like, you press it on, twist, that's it. Now, another good thing about this tripod is, oops, I think you have to take out this, this one. You could pull out the entire center column and mount it this way. So now, by mounting it this way, I can have my camera here, really low to the ground if I want to be shooting this way. I, this one can't do that. Okay, sorry boy, I think there's, we might have a problem. So, another way of doing it is that, again, you take this one out, lift it up a bit, put it here, get the Allen wrench that comes with it. There, there's an Allen wrench in the middle. This is number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Give or take about seven strokes, bring it up. And you can remove the center column. That's the way to be able to replace this one if you want to use a, a, a universal mount for your ball head. But I did that so that I can remove the center column Put this ball head back, okay, and check this out. I can have my tripod really low to the ground. That's very, very interesting. Honestly, it's like it's like a transformer's tripod. Uh, it, there's just so many things that you can do with it. Just this little things. Take a look at this one. It's so innovative. Your Allen wrench. You just put. How many times have you guys lost an Allen wrench? And you just clip it on here in the back of your tripod. 
and there you won't be losing that very interesting you know there are a bit there are some downsides so to this tripod as i said earlier this ball head i understand where they're coming where they're coming from they they want to make it as innovative as possible look at that simple stuff like you could before that before anything else i just noticed this look at this you could pull it out to make it easier for you to be able to twist the knob then after you're done with it you just push it in so that it doesn't protrude look at the design of the allen wrench the case of the allen wrench it's so easy it's just there you won't be losing it all right i tried this to be honest i tried as much as possible not to like this tripod but i am liking it though i still don't think it is the perfect tripod but for that price point for the price point in which this is put this is a premium tripod it is actually not bad for the price um, i think this is about 350 dollars for the aluminum version and 600 dollars for the carbon fiber version but again as i said earlier um, i don't think this is perfect as is i think there are ways for them to be able to improve the tripod the usability i understand where really i do understand the the engineering that went into developing something like this it does feel correct if you're shooting horizontally but vertically it does feel different it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't feel as intuitive as it does when it's on horizontal mode though i think i can live with that when it, whenever i am traveling because it's not as if i am really rushing to get the shot as compared to work so I guess if you are in the market for a very nice travel tripod, I would suggest get this one. It's so innovative. It's fan fantastically designed. It is really good value for money for a premium tripod. For me, since I already have this, I am still uncertain. Um, if I can get a good price in the secondhand market for this one, maybe I will. But again, as I said earlier, this has been tried and tested i brought it with me to so many shoots for 10 years so i don't really see the need for me to be able to really change it um, this is actually a want but not necessarily a need so i don't know i'm still on the fence but again if you if you don't have a very if you don't have a good travel tripod and it's in the market for one i suggest not even getting this one anymore uh, just getting the carbon fiber version of this peak design travel tripod because it is really groundbreaking. Oh, and did I mention, it comes in a fantastic bag like this one. Peak Design made it, so it's really nice and snug. Plus, you can put their vaunted camera straps here and hang it around you so that it's very easy. And for me, I think this might be a game changer. I, I honestly, I think I'll end it this way. I am leaning towards getting one because I can connect my Peak Design strap have my camera on this and just have it in my back when I'm traveling instead of bringing a bag along because normally when I do travel, I just bring one lens and one camera body with me and having the ability to just sling it behind me like this with my camera or sling it this way with my camera hanging, knowing that this one is solid enough to keep it stable might actually be something that might push me to make this one into a need rather than just a want but let's see so i hope you guys enjoyed this very very simple uh, it's not really a very technical product review it is basically how i think i will be using this tripod um, but if you did if you did enjoy this video please do subscribe to the channel and while you're at it click that notification bell so that you get notified every time i upload a new video and if you want to see some of my images you can follow me on instagram it's at jiggy alejandrino okay till the next video